What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast review. And today, this is going to be yet another diecast haul. Last diecast haul for now. And I want to give a shout out to my good friend Jacob Reed for once again sending me these good stuffs. And this time, uh, these were from himself. So, can't wait to show you guys what I got from him. So, Jacob, if you're watching this, thank you so much. You're such a good friend. And um, before we get started, Jacob also sent me some hero cards from My Carmen Racing. This is Kyle Weatherman's 2020 Crossbows autographed hero card. And Bailey Curry's 2020, I think, or is it 2021? Teen Diets. Uh, Chevy uh, Chevy Monte Carlo and oh this is probably 2020 because my Carmen drove this car um, He sent me these but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it. So I'm just gonna hang on to it All right now, let's get to the good stuff. So here's the thing. I got three loose 164s I got three in its packaging two of them will be loose die cast and I got three 187s So let's start off with the loose die cast first <laughs> off this is going to be Kurt Busch's 2020 Gear Wrench Chevy Camaro 01 1LE um, from Chip Ganassi Racing. And although this, although Gear Wrench is probably a curse to Kurt Busch, it's an amazing paint scheme. But to be honest, if you ask me, I prefer the 2019 paint scheme a lot better. I don't know why, but I just think that scheme looks beautiful, more beautiful than this. But other than that, it's still a great scheme despite being cursed. Next car, this is, I really wanted like an Eric Amarola number 10 die cast. So this is going to be on Eric Amarola's 2020 Smithfield Ford Mustang for, um, from Stuart Haas Racing. And my goodness, Eric Amarola, I don't know if there's any other driver that has the worst season to him. If that's the case, Eric Amarola is having the worst season and I've ever seen for any driver, honestly. It, it really kills me to see Amarola struggle. He went from winning almost five races in 2018 to, I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what happened to Stuart Haas this year. Like, all of a sudden, Kevin Harvick is the only driver that's carrying the team. Other than that, Stuart Haas Racing has been struggling. What the hell happened? They were literally at top of the world 2018. <clears throat> Like, mainly 2018, and now they're just struggling. I really hope Eric Gamala and, and Stuart Haas Racing General does better. They really deserve it. And finally, the last loose diecast for now. This is going to be on Martin Truex Jr.'s 2016 Furniture Row Toyota Camry from Furniture Row Racing. Fun fact, Furniture Row Racing was my second all-time favorite NASCAR team. Like, even, like, I know Truex was one of my favorite drivers, but even before Truex... Came into furniture roll racing. I rooted for Wicked Smith. Hell, like, Kurt Busch is not even my favorite driver. And I rooted for Kurt when he was in furniture roll racing. I miss this team. I think Jacob gave me this die cast because I think he has extras or... I don't remember. Maybe he can tell me again in the comments below. But yes, there's a lot going on. There's green paint and a lot of messes. That's okay. I can just sharpie it. Alright. So that's going to do it for the... Three loose 164s for now. Let's get to the 187s. Jacob used to work at uh, Walmart. I think he lasted almost a month. Hopefully, Jacob finds a job. And also, Jacob, if you, um, if you didn't like that, we went to Bristol. Forgive me. But, yeah. He got me these from, Walmart, from his Walmart. And this is going to be on first. This is a two-pack of Daniel Suarez and Eric Amarola's 2019 Darlington Throwbacks. This is Tony Stewart's 2002 throwback and Tony Stewart's 2005 throwback. And I gotta say, this is just amazing. Hang on, just let me see what I can do. Like, how the hell do I do this? Okay, I think I got it. Alright. Alright. I think I got it now. Sorry if I'm taking too long. There we go. Alright, come on, baby. Oh, yeah. So, there's Amarola. 
and there is Suarez, if he can just get out. This is taking forever, I do apologize. Hang on. Alright, so, these are the Tony Stewart throwbacks, hang on. These are the Eric Armarella and Daniel Suarez throwback. I gotta say, these are awesome. I really wish, like, there was, like, a three-pack special for the Tony Stewart 2019 throwback to the 164s and 187 scales. So, there it is. Next up is another um, two-pack Darlington throwback. I'm going to need my chair. And this is going to be on the Daryl Waltrip throwback when Daryl Waltrip was doing his final season with the Mascot Fox. This is Denny Hamlin and Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s 2019 Daryl Walter throwback, uh, the Western Auto throwback. And it's FedEx, Fast and all, and I gotta say, I really wish there was a 164 version of Reiki Stenhouse Jr. It's a shame that there's no 164, but. And let's open this SOB right here. Right. Alright. I think this should be easier than the Tony Stewart throwbacks. Oh, oh, kind of. All right, almost there. Stenhouse is about to come out. He's about to come out. All right, so this is Stenhouse's um, die cast. And there is Hamlin's throwback. Um, very, very cool. Paint schemes, very, very cool throwback, very, very cool die cast. It's very cool. I love this so much. It's amazing to have these wonderful, wonderful 187s. And and the best for last for 187s, we got Bubba. This is Bubba Wallace's 2019 two pack Victory Junction. One of them is a throwback, one of them is a regular. A victory Junction paint scheme for Roger Petty Motorsports. And man, oh man. This is amazing. Let's, keep, let's get these babies out of the box. Alright. Yep. Is it, hang on, I'm trying to find something that I need to open this easier. So I can struggle less and not waste a lot of time. Okay, there we go. So this is Bubba Wallace's regular Victory Junction car. Ah, fuck. Alright, and this is Bubba Wallace's throwback to Adam Petty. And this this paint scheme won paint scheme of the year in 2019 from NASCAR NBC's Instagram, I think. I think it is, or was it Corley Joyce uh uh Scooby Doo card? I don't know, but oh actually this paint scheme won throwback of the year 2019. That's what happened. But man, these paint schemes are awesome. And of course, as always, I will always stand with Bubba Wallace. Very cool die cast. And a little venting time. Sorry to waste some time. But I need to say something. Um, Alright, hang on. Okay, um, I need I need to vent about something. So, you see these wonderful 187s, right? Yep. These are very, very cool. Two packs are is a better idea than a blind bags. However, there's only one problem that I always have whenever I go to Walmart during my break uh, from work. And also, it's been like this since the two packs have been a thing. Unfortunately, the only problem I have about it is that the two packs in, from where I live cost $5.97. And the fact that a NASCAR Authentics 164 costs $4.94 from where I live in Walmart... Yeah, these are more expensive. I think it's fucking embarrassing. Every time I go to Walmart or Target, whatever, you always see these two-pack 187s in shelves, untouched. There's a lot of them. Why? Because nobody wants to buy uh, two packs of 187s for almost $6. That's fucking stupid. Here's the thing. I love these 187s. I want to get these two packs. But why would I want to pay almost six bucks for these? Why couldn't it be like, you know, like three bucks? You know, like these cars are like 150 each or whatever. I don't know. But like, it's fucking ridiculous that 
race fans like us have to spend six bucks on two packs that are more expensive than NASCAR Authentics diecast. That's fucking stupid. If you want, if you want to sell these 187 two packs, um, make them cheaper. Make them cheaper, and then it'll sell well. But no, let's make it six bucks. So yeah. I really, despite the stupid prices, I really hope I can buy some uh, two packs of 187s. So yeah, these are wonderful. The only problem is the prices. Other than that, these are beautiful. So now let's get to the um, the ones under packaging. Three more diecasts to go. All right, here we are, the best for last. What do we got here? All right, let's make this as quick as possible and not waste any more time. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully let's not waste any more time. Oh shit, I already am. Anyway. Here we go. So this is Joey Logano's 2009 Home Depot Toyota Camry rookie car from Jacob's Racing, and and I guess Jacob opened this diecast for me. So yeah, let's see what we got here. Ooh. All right, let's put this in the trash. All right, uh, let's see how I can open the baby. Oh, wow. All right, so this is Joey Logano's 2009 Home Depot car. Unfortunately, for some reason on Winter Circle, there's no rookie stripes. Um, I wonder if like other diecasts like action made this car with the rookie stripes. Can anyone let me know? Because I don't know why they didn't have rookie stripes on this car. But yes, this is Joey Logano's rookie car. Beautiful, beautiful diecast. I remember seeing Joe Logano win, the, win at New Hampshire back in 09. I think that was like the first official NASCAR race I've ever watched. So very cool to see Joe Logano from being a Joe Gibbs bust to uh, a phenomenal, legendary Penske driver. And an Astro driver too. You love to see it. Whether you like it or not, he's a legend. So yeah. All right, two more to go. Next up. This is Cole Custer's 2020 HaasTooling.com Ford Fusion Kentucky Race version um, from Stuart Haas Racing. And I wanted to get, uh, I wanted like a Cole Custer diecast, but like before the 2021 car got released, I wanted like a clean, as clean as possible Cole Custer car. And this was it. So yeah, and also, I'm not really big on race version 164s, but I would get them if they're like not as dirty, not as not really damaged, whatever, like when they're like mainly clean. So yeah. Alright, let's get this car out of this box. And new car smell. Yeah, wow. This is just beautiful right here. Oh, there's a chip right here. No oh, well. Chip right here. Um, yeah, there's some like back bumper scrapes when Matt Mendetto helped them, and of course, some front raced front thing. And yeah, there's some dirt stuff, but that's okay, it looks pretty clean still for race version. I like that. And man, oh man, although Kentucky's the most, although Kentucky was fucking garbage. They did go out with a bang in case if Kentucky ever dies. And if you guys seen my reaction video of last year's Kentucky finish, whoo, all the package sucks. Holy hell, four wide in the last lap. Are you kidding me? And Coke Custer, a rookie, made it four wide in the last lap and won. That's incredible. So, this is Cole's car. Very cool. And the best for last, not, uh, last but not least. Oh shit, I almost opened it. And this is going to be on Dale Jarrett's 2000 Ford Quality Care Services for Towers from Robert Yates Racing. This is uh, when Dale Jarrett won his third and final Daytona 500 race. But unfortunately, Dale Jarrett's last Daytona 500 race is the worst Daytona 500 ever. And unfortunately, CBS went out with hot garbage well it's not their fault it's just the racing was garbage in 2000 so here's the hood very cool very different comparing to nascar authentics hood 
I expected this to be like authentics because I never had like a winter circle die cast with like a hood before. This is different, very cool. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? And here's the car itself. Whenever I was looking at the car, the head, the front bumper looks, oh my God. Ugh, it's so messed up. But literally, I did not see only problems so far. Looking into this die cast. God, I can't stand the front bumper. Literally, there's no issues at all. The only problem is the front bumper. Very unfortunate that there is like a mess. Or like a fuck up. But still an amazing car. Iconic paint scheme, of course. Mm. Very, very beautiful. Alrighty, fans. This is the last uh, die cast haul for now from Jacob Reed. And I gotta say, these are very, very beautiful die casts. Six 164s, six 187s. And honestly, this helped a lot with my 187 collection because this is what my 187 collection looks like before today when the package arrived. And I can't wait to see the one, my 187 collection girl as well. And I'm very, very grateful for these die casts. And I got three of girls too. <laughs> So yeah, Jacob, thank you so much for giving me these diecasts. If you guys want to, uh, follow his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram. Links in the description below, as usual. And I can just say, I don't know what to say, but they, these are beautiful. That's all I can say. And that's going to do it for another diecast haul. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Also, one more thing. If there are like mess ups on these diecasts. Nothing but good old Sharpie would help out. I bought some Sharpie last week for these occasions. And, yep. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Don't forget to follow Jacob once again. Um, I think that's all. Thank you guys so much for supporting E-Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody.